to jump this one up, unsurprisingly, for the uh, Phoenix <coughs> or the players to take the knee. So at the start of the game, so final formalities done. And we're underway, and it's uh, Cheshire who take the opening tip here at the Worcester Arena. So, another team on their home floor this afternoon. So, uh, Hayes. Okay, moving straight away. Colin Ross, big scorer for the Giants. Ross, straight away. The Giants looking to get their side of the scoreboard ticking. Uh, opening two. Paul Jr. gets things moving. Alex around the eight guess Jordan Williams at the top. Williams, former Wolves player, of course, dances around. A nice dish inside. Landy eight steps out for three. Williams out. Manchester come up with the ball. Dizzy to Fadeju. Player came through the academy system here at Worcester. He almost gets his pocket pick. Time to go inside. Jimbo Lal. Kick it out for three. Long range three. No good. Cassell Jr., an industrious point guard. Here comes Hexham. He's looking to find a way inside. Hexham. Manchester is moving the ball around the perimeter. So Junior. Mm. The Giants so picked up the foul, so count those and the bonus is on the line. Okay, so Junior sets with the first, strings it. Good shape to the Manchester Giants this year. Manchester looking for that win here. It would send them fourth above Bristol, as they say, early days. And uh, a long, long way to go. But those uh, early points so important at this stage of the season. Look for Deja now. Kyron uh, Ross for three. Back iron, no good. Lull pulls down that rebound. He said he was going to do a job. On the board this afternoon, and uh, Jimbo Lull is there once again to pick up the scraps for Cheshire. Look at the difference. And Brady puts up the long range two. No good. Here comes Kyron Ross once again. Can go from Ross. And Ross once again. Great ball movement from Manchester. Beautiful. I say finish off the window, didn't quite go. Look, he was nerfed as he went up actually. Jordan Wellen now, Wellen. He's going around Hexen from the corner. Nails the triple. And you sense in these early exchanges, could be a tight affair here this afternoon between both of these teams. So Kyron Ross, Lyle McCall Jr. now, McCall Jr. Stop and go. Dances around the perimeter. There he sees the opening, drives into the paint. Can't find the space. Law can't hang on to it. So that's going to be the Giants ball from the end line. Cassell Jr. on the inbounds now to Jordan Wellen. Well, and he was left wide open. Lane opened up in front of him. Poor defense, really, from the next lull. Uh, flawed in that contact, so he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Uh, no doubt, discussing that on the bench, it was a real lapse of concentration in defence there that gifted those two points to the Giants. Four-point game, a foul on the board, each 6.53 to play in the first quarter. Round five BBL Championship game, if you've just joined us, Jimbo Lyle now on the line for Cheshire Phoenix. Lull, one of their star performers so far this season. Commentators curse doesn't get the drop on that one. It just rims out. Jimbo Lull not connecting with either of those two. And 
come up with the ball. Oh, good this time. Russell Jr. once again. Well, Hexham couldn't connect. Whelan has it, spins. That's his pocket pick, but it's going to be a Manchester ball from the end line. And uh, it'll be Cassell Jr. Yeah. Just going to say, Lobby was on the line there, shooting over 70% from the line, so uncharacteristic of him yeah, to make both of those. Sets the screen. This time they go out to Lobby. Big man shoots a three. Too long. Great work from Karen Ross to get that ball back out. Stop and pop two from him. No good. Hexham just picks it off the ironwork. And here come the Manchester Giants once again. Whelan. Just loses the handle on the ball off his foot and out of bounds. Actually, I think it came off a, uh, yeah, it did come off the next player. So, so Sam Castle Jr. Lobs it inside to Hexham. Back out to Castle Jr. Great, great game for him last time out here. Hexham once again puts up the triple. Castle Jr. the block, third time of asking. Well, that's going to help the rebounding stats for someone, that's for sure. Brady finds the two points this time. Then the other round, it's Lal is going to work. Little baby hook over the top. Count those two and the bonus. So Jimbo Lal making a nuisance of himself so far in this game. It's a four-point game. Once again, it's low. Like I said, shooting over 70. Probably didn't do his stats any good with that last <laughs> that last trip to the line, but for sure, these guys going to feature heavily this afternoon. So four points of difference, 5.28 to play. Two fouls on the board for the Manchester Giants so far. This afternoon, Ben Brady, once again, adding to that rebound stat line, leads the league in rebounds for the Manchester Giants. So it's Hexham, Hexham driving hard inside. Nice finish high off the window from Law Hexham. And he collects the foul. I didn't see who that was on. No doubt. We'll get the shout any second. Jalen Hayes. So first foul of the game for him. And, um, so five. Hexham so far. Well, Hexham on the line now for Manchester. Hexham strings it for two. Giants finding their stride early. Seven the difference now. Karen Ross this time feeds inside to Lyle. It was a good feed inside. But uh, he was just found off balance. Here comes Sam Castle Jr. once again. Brady, Alex Wandio, step back to good finish. Manchester really got the momentum now so far in this game. Doing a great job of just holding up the defence. Junior stop and pop off balance three just got shoved as if we're not referees let it go Ross once again round the back beautiful play from Ross drives in hard off the window great finish four points for him so far in the game now it's Manchester you've got to find something on this offense Castle Junior now he goes inside to Wandier, spins. That was a great move and a beautiful finish from Alex Wandier. There's no doubt they've got to keep him quiet down there between him and Hexham so far, making an absolute nuisance of themselves down low. Six points for him. And 
uh, Jimbo Lark once again shoots a three. And uh, time out called. Cheshire Phoenix, and really no surprise there. I think when you look down the stat line in uh, in that first uh, in that first encounter, really it is the uh, it is the Manchester Giants who are shading everything. 47 from the field, 67 plays 44 from two point range, and uh, naught from four for the Knicks from behind the arc while taking uh, those shots. And, uh, yeah, for sure some discussion going on on the, on the next bench right now as they decide what to do good defensive stand really for Manchester too they're getting the stops down low and uh, Brian Brady he is a rebounding machine as I said in the talk up there he's eating them for lunch and he's leading the league on that particular stat line this season so there's no question that they've got to do a job they've got to try and find a way to uh, to keep them quiet Hexham big presence inside big body knows how to use a space uh, it's one of those things when you watch the way that he uses his feet Lyle Hexham really accomplished in that position creates that space around him and, uh, and he knows how to capitalize on it inhaling the defense as he goes so it's uh, not really a surprise in terms of how it's panned out so far but uh, Phoenix already with a bit of a mountain to climb it's a nine-point ball game Giants 17 Cheshire Phoenix eight with 334 to play in this first quarter and it's Giants will get us back underway Sam Castle Jr He's got 13 on the shot block pulls up at the elbow for three uh, for two I beg your pardon and it's uh, a bit more fresh air Side game not really working so far for Cheshire this afternoon. Ross nice. just got to, just got interrupted. Williams checked in for uh, <laughs> for the Phoenix. No sooner said than done. But the triple goes down. Cuts the lead down to nine. So checked in big three attempt from Wandy. It's too short. Hudson couldn't get to it. Great work to find the uh, to find the ball to find the rock. They get it to Castle Junior. Castle Junior drops the bomb from distance for uh, for Manchester yet again. Great work, Hexham just uh, yeah, tripping over the ball and rolling over himself there. That's, uh, subs now. It's uh, Jalen Hayes. Checks in Ross and Lal uh, checking out. Disraeli Lipadeju checks uh, back in at Manchester. Brian Brady is, uh, is checking out. And David Ulf joins the proceedings for the Manchester Giants. So Manchester 22, Phoenix 10. Feed inside. So uh, that's going to be. Ball. So 12 points of difference. Uh, you get the sense. Uh, Knicks are just shuffling the pack a little bit now. Paul Junior can't get it to go. Here come Manchester in transition, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a blocking foul for all the world to see for sure. Adju took that one, and uh, so Carl Kerry, I beg your pardon. Great feed inside. Hudson got absolutely nerfed in that one, and uh, Hudson. Going to go back to the line. I think his nose is still attached, from what I can see. I'm a <laughs> commentary position is a is a long way up from the court here. But, uh, and he's definitely Hudson on the line, even with my dodgy eyesight. So Hudson just to put a bit more fresh air between Manchester and Cheshire. Of course, it's a local derby. Let's not forget. 
two guys very, very close to each other up there. It's a northwest derby. Four team the lead now, 153 to play. Phoenix again. Good hard drive inside. And uh, Mulliam. So Hill Mulliam draws the foul. He's going to go to the line. And Lyle Hexham taking a breather. So Jordan Whelan checks back into proceedings. Meantime, Sir Hill Mulliam on the line for Cheshire Phoenix. Just to chip away at that 14-point lead. Early days in the game and only 1.42 to play in the first quarter. Mulliam makes the first of those two. That's for the second. Doesn't make the second, so he's one from two. And times one the eight. As uh, one of his contact lens is pinched. So here comes Hudson. Stop and go, Hudson. Just loses the handle on the ball. He had options either side, really, Hudson, but uh, opted to go down the centre him the ball so Mike McCall Jr. Lefadeju just thought about the three there Lefadeju hard drive to the bucket no good Manchester come down with it totally missed time pass throwing the ball away and uh and be Lufadeju on the inbound, so transition play wasted there by Manchester. 14 on the shot clock. So Mike McCall Jr. now for Cheshire Phoenix. McCall Jr. just sizing up his options. Looking for a way around Hudson. Deep in the clock, doesn't go. Wendy A has it. And here comes Sam. Cassell Jr. over the timeline. Danger just trying to force him into the back court. Cassell Jr. pulls up at the just behind the arc. Sam Cassell Jr. nails another one for Manchester. It is punishment now for Cheshire in this first quarter. 16 is the difference. And uh, that's going to be the next ball. Wandy got his fingers in the cookie jar there. 25.2 seconds to play and 12 on the shot clock off this inbounds pass so Sam Cassell Jr. doing what he did last time out here when he came to Worcester certainly 11 points in the bag leading all scorers in the game so far great dish outside doesn't go Knicks have it look for Deju high floating shot at close range and here comes Hudson once again right at the end of the quarter so it's finished here first quarter Manchester Giants 27 Cheshire Phoenix 13 it's been a great quarter basketball for Sam Cassell Jr 11 points from him Jimbo Lowe not really finding his uh, not really finding his rhythm so far in this game only four points in the bag from him but as we said long way to go and a big spread of assists there from Lifford Deju, Hayes, Webb and Cassell Jr, Wandy, everybody getting their name across that stat line. We'll take a short break, we're back in about one and a half minutes time with the second quarter.
Welcome back to the Worcester Arena. About to get underway, second quarter of this round five BBL championship game. And you can probably see just up on your screen there where the, uh, where the points have gone in the course of that first quarter. Manchester really stamping their authority on this game very early indeed. 14 is the, uh, is the lead right now. So uh, quite a bit to do here for Cheshire Phoenix. And uh, they're shuffling the deck, but uh, for sure there's going to be quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of discussion as to how they uh, how they find that really unbuttoned very much in defense in that uh, in that first quarter but um, it's going to be Sam Cassell jr. on the inbounds to get us back underway in a minute <laughs> so a bit of a debate going on over there actually but uh, uh, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. Sam Cassell Jr. leading all scorers in this game with 11. Brian Brady with those seven balls. And we said in the talk up this afternoon it's going to be a battle of the balls for sure. There's no doubt about that. But so far, really, Cheshire struggling to make an impression off the backboard this afternoon. Brady continues to stuff his sandwich with even more rebounds. Good work there to go to Wellen. Very nice finish from Jordan Wellen. To find those two, rearrange. Giants stretching their lead. And, uh, so if we saw Junior now, and it goes inside. To uh, create some space. Step back three doesn't go. It's no good. Ball is uh, going to go out of bounds. Yeah, that was off the uh, off the leg of all for <laughs> uh, Probably didn't really feel it going down, but it's uh, but it's certainly out of bounds. So Phoenix have it. Jalen Hayes, Jordan he's all over him like a cheap suit, and well, that was set up for a good finish, just couldn't hold on to the ball, and uh, subs coming now, Jimbo Lowe, and uh, Curran Ross checking uh, back in, Brady is back in for Ulf, for the Manchester Giants. Ring in the changes. Ben Thomas looking for he's looking for that spark that can just get their side of the scoreboard ticking over. Hexham this time loses the handle on the ball, so it's another turnover. And uh, the referees. Checking in as uh, Cassell Jr. takes a breather. So it's gone with Manchester. So Andy eight into Hexham. Hexham having lost that. Now he's got a chance to go to work. Drives inside. Again, as we said, great footwork from Hexham. Unfortunately, there's some cling film over that hoop. Just wouldn't drop for him. But uh, Law Hexham. He's proved himself to be uh, an absolute nuisance in that position. Ball out of bounds again. Sloppy handling from uh, from the Knicks. But here comes Hudson for Cheshire. Hudson goes to Alex Awandi. Time to go to Whelan, he's left wide open for the triple, too short. Jordan Whelan just couldn't hang on to it. Not enough, not enough putting on that one. So, Dizzy Lifferdeju now for Phoenix. La Ross feeds Lyle inside. Good move. Textbook stuff from, uh, from, the, from the Knicks.
time. It's hard to believe it. Brady hacks and hands off to Wandio. Wandio. Now he's looking for a way inside. Perhaps some better defense from Nix. Here's four on the clock. Need to get something away here. Wandio right at the end of the shot clock. Spin move, no good. Good defensive work there from uh, Cheshire. Way better than in that first quarter. Now, look, Badeju using up some of the clock. Ten on the shot clock. Dances inside. They kick it out to Ross. Low spins, drops the two in, and uh, Danny Burn has said, "I've seen enough. Let's take a breather." 6:42 to play. Phoenix 19, Manchester Giants 29. So they've cut that lead down considerably, and uh, Danny Burn wants to talk things over with his team. There's a bit of a he felt just a slight lapse of concentration there, really, with uh, with Manchester, but a much better defensive effort there from Cheshire and. Uh, you're sensing maybe that uh, there's a little chink of light here. They just need to keep chipping away. Not short of, uh, not short of scorers. Uh, maybe tilting the uh, the strategy to more of an offensive strategy. We'll see. Certainly, there's no shortage of people who can who can shoot the basketball. But uh, defensive energy is what it's all about. And really, Manchester fan pretty much wanting there. You know, they're a little bit all at sea. So. Uh, and again, Sam Castle Jr. having taken a breather didn't really add anything to his uh, didn't add anything to his tally. But uh, at the moment, Knicks just beginning to edge their way back across those uh, across those stat lines. But it's still 44-39 from the field, 11 from 25 for Manchester, nine from 23 for uh, for Phoenix. Uh, not connecting from downtown Cheshire so far this afternoon. So a bit of work to do for them. And uh, I guess uh, it's a home fixture on paper for Phoenix. Both, both teams a long way from home, and obviously with COVID restrictions, travel is um, yeah pretty difficult for everybody right now, as we well know. But uh, I have to say the arena team here have done an amazing job getting this place uh, ready for this afternoon and to get these two games on. It's no mean feat for the organisation for sure. So I think hats off to them. I know that everyone else around the league is uh, making huge efforts to. Uh, to make these venues secure and continue to bring you these games despite all the restrictions that we've got. So, Curran Ross now. Ross goes inside to Lyle. Well, he looked for the alley to drop it in. It didn't go. Here comes Lyle Hexham. Dumps it off to a Wandier. Wandier almost lost the handle on the ball, but he holds on to it. Finds the two points. Giants finding their stride. Knicks just pinch a couple back at the other end. Ten points the difference now. So Casal Jr. Let's check back in now. It's Brian Brady drives hard inside, goes to work on Lyle. Great matchup as we said at the start. It's an absolutely exquisite matchup. Oh, great pass. Well taken. Can't finish. But the foul is called. Jalen Hayes is going to go to the line to shoot two. Better passage of play this from uh, from Cheshire. Just keeping themselves in touch, chipping away at that, uh, at that lead. So Jalen Hayes is going to shoot the first of these two. He sets himself does it make the first. Find his numbers for you, for sure. 75 and a half from the line on the season, Jalen Hayes. That's a second. So, the points of difference at 540 to play. Alex Orlandio right at the top, sinks the triple. He's finding it from distance this afternoon. This time Lyle goes, he's can't finish. Well and picks off the rebound. Pulls up the ball to Orlandio. Orlandio 
McLean. Leading that three for fun this afternoon. Well, and Hexham can't hang on to it. It's time. Jalen Hayes runs the open floor. Too much on it. Really should have finished that. Jordan Welland, Wandy A pulls up for two. No good. Ross has it this time. No mistakes. Hayes, Brady at the other end. Brian Brady muscles his way to the bucket. The lead is back out to 14 with 4.25 to play. This time, Lowell is fouled. Tries to throw it down, but he's going to have to win easy old-fashioned way. He's going to the stripe. And uh, nothing too much to be bothering by the coach right now on that scoreboard. McCall Jr. checks back in for Mullion and uh, Jordan Whelan. Checks out and Jack Powell comes in to get his first taste of the action this afternoon. Low. Many times makes the first of those two. As we said, another one of those players shooting over 70 from the line so far this season. Jimbo Low. This time strings the pair of them. So 12 points the difference. Knicks are going to be looking to get that down into single digits before they go in at half time with 4.10 on the clock. Brady, he's going to work, muscles his way inside. Lowell manages to hold on to it, goes behind the back. And foul is called. So that's Nick's first. Foul of the game will be a quarter, I beg your pardon. So, actually, nope, that was called on a Wendy 8. My bad. Ross. So Brady. Uh, Alex Wandy holding foul, so that's two quick fouls for him. Zikadeju just had the presence of mind to take his hand away from the ball. Ball goes out of bounds. 3.41 to play in the second quarter of this ball game. So Giants on 14 fouls with 3.39 to play. Phoenix really have got to look to capitalise on that. That three attempt, no good. Here comes Ross again. Now he puts up the triple. Short. Hexham has it. Sell Jr. Sell Jr. Kicks it out. <laughs> Brio Brady. He's in the house. Throws it down for Manchester. Many times Jimbo up at the other end. He muscles his way to the hole. It rolls over the top of the bucket. No good. Here come Manchester again. Suddenly there's a spark of life to this game. Sam Cassell Jr. Dancing around the perimeter. It was a great feed inside to Brady. Couldn't hang on to it. Good dish to Dizzy Lifadeju off the window. Trademark move from him. And at the other end. Zach Powell drops in another two for Manchester. So trading buckets. It's not what Cheshire need right now. They've got to find a way, get some stops. Love, head fake. Again, footwork hard off the window. No, he gets it to go. The two do well, the difference. Danny Burn with his arm 
arms in the air. Just wondering what is going on. Ten points. The difference right now between these two teams. Manchester Giants 42, Cheshire Phoenix 32. You saw it right there. Totally static in offense. All the defenders are looking at each other. But the defense are picking up all of these defenders. Just looking at each other, other and uh, just allow the next one to run straight run through the trees. 14 pound players are really good. Cheshire, they can, they can be as, uh, as aggressive as they like now at this stage of the game. game. And um, no doubt about it, but the, uh, the momentum to certainly be swinging away from Cheshire being right now. Right now. Again, Cheshire taking away. I always say about those stat lines, but uh, it's one of those areas where. You're looking at how they're performing in the field, and certainly the rebounding percentage is 17 to 11 defensive boards for Manchester. And I think that's come up from five in the last five minutes. So Nick's doing a better job on the glass. 23 play 17 overall, and it's neck and neck on offensive boards at six apiece. So, yeah, Danny Burns' body language certainly said it all there for certain. Well, he said, you know, single digits, if they can get down to single figures going into that locker room at half time, then uh, certainly Cheshire will be the happier of these two teams going in. So, the second half of this second quarter, much better for Phoenix. So now it's Zach Powell. Powell at the top. for a one in doesn't go and this time Michael Michael Jr. Jr. drops it into the other end and there's a single digit advantage for Manchester now eight points it is and that is going to be a Cheshire ball nothing going away on Manchester right now the Phoenix picking up everything it seems every decision going their way so Hudson's going to check back in and Powell returns to the bench and yeah, put a bit of an impact, impact on so far this season for Manchester. So, from uh, Cheshire, once again, we have a junior. What can they do from here? Easy to do for Day Juju. Is it now? It's a 12 on the shot clock. Ross was looking for it in the corner. And he couldn't keep it in bounds. Spots on the other side, like they go to Ross. Of course, Junior, a bigger part of this time. Ross at the top for three. three. Oh, my goodness me! Just gets the one for the feet before it goes in. That was a great bit of play from Cheshire. And the lead now is down to five. The extraordinary Hudson. And here it comes. The man from Phoenix. Once again, Karen Ross, he's come alive, and all of a sudden, water is tasting like wine for Cheshire Phoenix. 42 to 39, Hudson, he goes around the corner, they kick it out to Lyle Hex, 7 for 3, no good, off the aisle, but look at Danger, he has it now. Here come the Knicks again, Ross just hanging it up, 15 on, on the game clock, shot, shot turned off now, so he's just going to go back. Run on that clock as far as he can. Well, a three, a three will lock it up at this stage. Certainly, drives inside, they can't finish. And that is it, it's the end of the second quarter. We're at half time, a fabulous five minutes of basketball from Cheshire Phoenix. Well deserved, those guys really stepping up that offensive energy. They just found Manchester napping. In, uh, uh, in offense, and uh, you know, Manchester with the uh, 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 biggest lead of the game now, 15 or 17, or whatever it was, right away. Way, way. You know, that's, that's a big climb back, back, certainly. It's pretty much on as even as they head in into the locker room. room. And, and uh, well, well, it's going to be certainly the happier of the two teams heading to those locker rooms. It's going to be the Cheshire Phoenix in sense that there's something more to come out from them in, in the second half. So it's, it's finished here, 42 plays, 39 in favour of, of the Manchester Giants. Giants. And uh, we'll, we'll be back, back, we'll take a short break, we'll be back again about 10 minutes in the second half, whatever you do, don't go away.
Welcome back to the University Arena here in Worcester Live with us here on the BBL. It's round five of the BBL Championship in Manchester. Giants taking on the Cheshire Phoenix home fixture. Cheshire Phoenix in this North West derby. And it's been Cheshire Phoenix really were under the thumb in the first quarter of that ball game. But the last five minutes in the second quarter, they seem to find their real rhythm. They came alive, but then buried at one stage. But uh, they brought it right back. Three points. The difference, Manchester Giants going to be at 42 to 13. Nine ahead at the break. Castle Junior Phoenix doing a good job keeping quiet in that uh, second quarter. But and uh, finally, Jimbo Lala finding his stride as well. 12 points for him, leaving all scorers in the game. Castle Junior on 11, and, and uh, Randy A and Brady Brady Mark behind on 9 and 8, respectively. Predictably, a good work from uh, Brady on the ball. Eight rebounds for him in, in that, uh, that, that first half. half. Absolutely, Absolutely monster in that position. And uh, uh, Coach Danny Byrne really frustrated going into the locker room. Body language said everything as they were in at half time. And uh, as we come out, out it's, it's uh, going to be Manchester who uh, will be looking, looking, looking to do some, some damage, damage here early on and just address the balance in this, in this game. game. Really probably thought they had this one right up, up, but it's not off the, the way it's been turned on, on a set of and now Cheshire Phoenix with uh, a great opportunity to find their way back into this game. Second heat in between these teams this season, and the Phoenix taking a bench over. You've got to take a big win with first time out. So we're going to finish business for Cheshire as we head into the second half. All this ball game, game. and uh, uh, we're we're waiting waiting for the final one. Formality to be completed. Uh, uh, Carl Ross, Ross gets us back on the way. Points on Carl Ross. 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 Quite a turn. Might have thought of that first half. Oh, Did it is the day now. And the word of Phoenix, I'm going to establish something early here. Well, there, there you go. go. Cool Junior says, I have arrived. I've won my game up at 42. A piece of 30 seconds in to the third quarter of the ball game. So, so it's on, on as even, and here we go, go again. Cassell Junior. Ah, for three. No good. good. Next, Next comes come down the ball. Connor Ross. Ross. Just loses his foot easy. Me. 
And the number one, one bites the dust, dust from deep. deep. And, and it's six, six points, points now, Carl Ross. Ross. Kicks it out to Lolo. Next just need to keep that composure. Mid range two attempts doesn't go. And then just to have, to have it with Brady. Brady. Good, good work, work stretching the floor here on the eight. Yeah. Castle Junior again. This time, Aaron Ross tries to slide to grab his own rebound out there again. And Brady, have a little look at that stat at the end of this quarter, but he is doing a job on the board tonight. Just six points the difference. Minutes and travel into this third quarter. Castle Junior is out ahead of Hexham. Hexham. Yeah, we'll have to go. Deep in the shot. Shot. Tough shot. shot. All the strips away. Well, just about hands on to it. it. And this time, Karen Ross strides inside. Right. Brady winning the block. It's like he's going to pick up the foul. No, 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 he's been caught for that one. So, so Suns now for Cheshire. Cheshire. Back, back in, back in, in Jane, Jane Hayes. Hayes. And, uh, meantime, Carl Ross. Personal for Ross. So clear in the game. game. That eight, eight. for Carl Ross. 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 Six, six, six to play. play. It's uh, third quarter. quarter. So Ross sets it. Sets it. Two, two, and he's going to pitch a perfect Carl Ross, Ross from the line. line. So, so here come Manchester, come Manchester again. Sandow so so Jr. in your four point four game game shots in it. Cheshire, Cheshire absolutely lung lasting effort from, from them then in that second quarter, quarter they get themselves right, right back into this game. game. And now we've got a game on our hands. George Wellman, he's right by the side 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 and Sam Castle Jr. in it. Hexham comes up like triple and looks off from here. here. And uh, they can't hang on to it for days. He won't have kept it alive. alive. He got a bit, bit of luck with that. that. So the Hill, Hill with the Orion has nothing else to do other than to throw the ball down. down. Two valuable points out of that scrap for Phoenix. And here comes Sam Castle Jr. once again. Gives up at the elbow. No good. 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 Alex will win the ADA sport. He was looking, looking for the call for the referee. He means time is locked up again. And, and uh, Danny, Danny Byrne, once, once again, is seen enough as Ray Glue for the day. Juju locks this game up for 50 to piece. It's 5 16 to play. And Glue uh, for day. Juju has eight persons for him in, uh, in the game. 67 from the field. From uh, Dizzy Glue for day. Juju. In the game, game. so uh, he's leading that percentage, percentage for, uh, for Phoenix. In fact, that leading in the game, game for all scorers. So it's top five for all scorers as well. well so so I mean, but so we have to take the bad man, the ball, Brady, 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 between the hoop, hoop. so uh, Danny Burns uh, uh, walks on this one over, over. Just, 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 just uh, stuttering really at the start of his second quarter. Look for a second there, like they're going to run away again, again. but it didn't happen. happen. But, 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 but see what they try to on the ball. Certainly, on the other side of the floor, there is uh, uh, on the other bench, bench, I should say. say. There's all sorts of conferences happening. Really. Over there. So, uh, and Thomas, Thomas is right in the truth. truth. Got a, a 
to roll up my shoulder so that they maintain that discipline for 50 a piece it is by sitting the plate in the third hole or next with two hours on the board nothing too much to be bothering any of you so so I'm not playing this in the middle of the two we'll have to get out again driving inside so that's it that's it that's it He's going to go back to the line to shoot two. Uh, Mike Michael Jr. Jr. is on three, three so he'll probably take, probably take a three back now. Uh, uh, Jack Hayes. Hayes is going to check back, back in him. So Hayes is a little, little bit of extra, extra, a little bit of extra height. height. And, uh, uh, So Jordan 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 on the line. Line. Yeah. That's it. So, so John John by two. This is for Daydream. Deploy my glasses in any second now, now. I'm sure I can read the team shots. That's about as much as I'm a long way away, so uh, we'll, we'll go with that for now. This is just for day, Juju. We'll be in the bound at all. So had to on the inbound bouncing some defensive work on this. That's a come off hexing from his foot. I like hexing from here, I've got to say. The referee's been down the other way and they're on top of it. Of course, players don't seem to be complaining too much. So, either way, 10 seconds off this inbound. Very likely. It's all really good. Junior is looking for the ball. We're going to break this top. Break it over, over the top. top. With the baby, baby look, look good. good. Ross. Ross. Just about out. Now they just hang on to the ball. It's gone down heavy, heavy. Seems to be okay, okay. So, like, Cheshire Phoenix hit all team fouls now in the quarter. quarter. And that foul on Sam Hassel Jr. puts him on two, two and the Giants on three. three. So it'll be a sideline and one foul on four, of course. So it's easy to put AJ on the inbound out for uh, the Phoenix. And that's just indicating. Right, he wants that to go. go. Dumps it off to Lull, I'll hold on to it, Ross is just going to scoop up up. The rubble off that one drives inside hard off the window. Good work, a great finish. Out comes three to one, but he's found his way to the top bucket. Carl Ross is now out, Sam Cassell Jr. from Manchester, so he's really quite to play. Frustration, Sam Cassell Jr. It's 52 to the piece. Alex Wandy away. Wandy pulls up the free throw line. Two points. Good, good work, work from him. him. Both teams are trailing buckets right now. now. Look at AJ. He's dancing around the rim. He's to go for the two, 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 two from the elbow. Take it off. He's checked in. Comes now with Alex Tintinix. And of course, Sol Jr. and Sol Jr. is David on the weather. Well, he turns the corner, drives into the lane. Good finish. Good finish. Good good finish. Good good right hand on the window. window. Great, Great work. work. So, Carl Ross, once again. Just 
just don't like it. I'm not going to price it. Because they do know how many people are going to be a day drink. Cross those open areas. Space, space with footwork. Dumps it off to Lala. Right on the end of the shot. Tough shot. Great board. And uh, uh, it is going to go to the line. line. It's a shoot to. to. Jaden Hayes. Hayes did really well there. there. But it's, uh, uh, he's got to go to the line. line. Uh, these ones are the old fashioned way. So. Giants 56, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, on either side, side of the scoreboard, so it could be significant <laughs> now as we head down down business and end of the quarter. 2.28 on the clock lock. Wangler, yeah. Has it to Sel Junior, and it's Sel Junior here. Energy level brings to every game is extraordinary. Sel Junior in the rear range. Did it go over there? It was Brady to pick up the off. It's great work from Rear Brady. He's like bringing the cavalry. cavalry. This, time this time Ross tried to slide kick to that out of the day. Jay 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 Hayes now Hayes pulls up the free throw line. He's got Alex Wendy away with him. Jordan Wellen and an exit on it off. Is he going to dump down? Is he going to go all the way? And the whistle has gone on. So that is going to be the point. I don't end the ball. Turn around just to really ready. Something more than that, and Burn really unhappy with that goal. Ball. And here comes Ross. Once again, Ian Gombiom. He's going to go to work. Over the top of Brady, he said that's going to be a beautiful, be a beautiful match, match up. up. And so, so it's Ruth. Jimbo Lowe, four points in the back of the two, two, two short game. game. And just adjust, just adjust, make it a kick fresh air. Between themselves and the Knicks. Shane and Hayes almost pushed in the pocket there. One day! Three, no good. Doesn't go. Got Corrin Ross now. In transition. Stop the bottom of the elbow. A meat and drink shot. Corrin Ross. It's a one shot game with 56 seconds to play in the quarter. Oh, that was a beautiful idea, yeah, but uh, the execution was, was found one thing. thing. And it's a side by referee. It was cool. cool. So, so, it's a two. two. It was a hold on the arm. And that matters. So, so, puts Jade Hayes, Hayes on three fouls going into the third quarter. So, so, if you had Hayes, Hayes, potentially, on that, that side, side of the scoreboard now, now. We throw shoes to the bottom of the season, Liam Brady. 
Doesn't make oh, either of those two. two. So, here come Cheshire once again. Colin Ross doing a great job of running the points this afternoon. Ross he kicks it out to Lowell. They go to the Padeju. Ross inside to Lowell. Ross lost the handle, but he kept hold of it. Draws the foul, and he's going to the line. Good work this from, uh, from the Phoenix. Now, just a feeling, I'm sensing, they're feeling slightly rattled at the moment. And, uh, but nevertheless, Nodes is in front by two points, so still a long way to go. 30 seconds in this quarter as we head to the fourth and final act of this drama this afternoon. Jimbo Lark strings the first. That's for the second. And, uh, both uh, Exum and uh, Russell Jr. have their shirts clean. <laughs> Whatever happened, it went everywhere. So Hudson, Jordan Whelan, Whelan is dancing around. He's got uh, Little Dage all over him. Drives hard inside. Great uh, work. Great work from all. Found his way up out of that triple team. Got the points, drew the contact. And he's going for the three-point play. That's one of those decisive plays, a decisive point. Sometimes it can switch the momentum. Everybody going for it, but it's him who found the points. And uh, so David Ulf on the line. Only two points on the board for him so far this afternoon. But my goodness me, do they count. So here comes Kyron Ross once again for Cheshire Phoenix. Phoenix, if he's Jalen Hayes. Hayes way off with that triple attempt. Hudson has it, and it's the end of the third quarter here at the Worcester Arena in this northwest derby between the Cheshire Phoenix and the Manchester Giants. Giants just edging this game 62 points to 59. We'll be back in just a moment for the fourth and final quarter of this ball game. Welcome back to the University Arena here in Worcester, live with us on the BBL Player. It's a Northwest Derby here, part of this double header coming to you from the arena today between the Manchester Giants and the uh, on paper home team, Cheshire Phoenix. Uh, Cheshire, tremendous work from them so far in this game. Giants just edging the lead here, 62 points to 59. Knicks not managing yet to get their noses in front, but you sense some swing in momentum. But a uh, beautiful score from David Ulf there just at the end of the uh, of the third quarter. One of those great plays that uh, doesn't look, you know, very much <laughs> on paper. But uh, goodness me, it can make a difference in a game. And uh, it's going to be Alex Oandier who gets us back underway in the fourth and final quarter of this game. Ten minutes separate one of these teams from two league points. Manchester would go fourth with a win here today. 
and a win for Cheshire would see them level on points with Manchester off the record coming into this game and uh, it's certainly been the Awandi and Brady show for uh, for Manchester this afternoon and this time Jordan Whelan runs the open floor in transition picks up the loose ball finds the points five point ball game Mike McCall Jr. is carrying three fouls coming in that's a drop down inside mean times Ross did well there and uh, well Nick's come up with the points Mulion is going to go to the line to shoot for the bonus so three point play this would bring it back to a one shot game two points if he thinks this one commentators curse probably shouldn't say too much so so Lulion, he hits it so two points the difference at the start of the fourth quarter and you just feel this could go either way this game Jordan well and Cool Junior all over him. Oh, hands it off to Hudson. Hudson now. He's looking for a way inside. He dumps it off to Brady. Hard off the window. Brian Brady. Great play from him. Long full court pass. Nick's managed to hang on to it. Can they get it to Jimbo? They can indeed. And he duly delivers. Cheshire Phoenix still within two. Just one shot separates them. Phoenix need a stop here. Brian Brady at the top. He goes to Awandia. He fires up the triple. Awandia hits it. A dagger three from Alex Awandia. Five points the difference now. Wow. So Ross goes to Dizzy Lifadeju. Lifadeju drives inside. This time he dumps it off. Williams shot high off the glass. No good. Hudson comes up with the ball for Manchester. Wolf goes into Brady. Brian Brady off the window. What a game Brian Brady is having this afternoon. 14 now for him. Extraordinary, extraordinary work. 13 rebounds. We said he was eating them for lunch, but, uh, well, Jimbo Lolt had a look at the three. It didn't go. Hudson Ben Thomas is on his feet now for sure, and uh, Whistle has gone. That's going to put Mike McCall Jr. on four fouls now. So... So he's keeping him in. Mulion steps out. Jalen Hayes back in for Phoenix. Jalen Hayes on three. So Ben Thomas has got a few. He's got a few paracetamol moments going on down there as far as his foul count is concerned right now. Jordan Wellen now on the inbounds ball. He goes into Brian Brady. Brady once again is going to work. Brady, such a physical presence in that position. Brian Brady with the spin. And the baby hook to find the two points and Giants just beginning to stretch their legs once again. It's a nine-point ball game for the Manchester Giants. In two and a half minutes, they come from a one-point game. Well, kicks it out to Lifferday. Two for three. No good. The Knicks really need to be finding these boards. These offensive rebounds are costing them dearly at the moment. Hudson come Manchester in the transition play and again they go in to Ulf and Ulf finds those points and uh, Manchester are feeling it right now it's been a little while since we saw Lyle Hexham 
So Danny Byrne with loads to deploy right now. So it's a nine, uh, 11 point game, I beg your pardon. So 11 points of difference. If you consider that, what, two minutes ago, it was uh, or a little under two minutes ago, it was a two point game. So really, it's, uh, there's a lot of work to do here once again. They've got to, Ben Thomas has got to get his team to buckle down on defense, not go to sleep. They caught Manchester napping a few times and they managed to open them up. So really the difference here is going to be who puts on the best, best defensive stand you sense. Um, although there are those in the school of thought that good offense beats good defense every day of the week. Uh, I think uh, maybe Ben Thomas very much an offensive minded coach in terms of his strategy Danny Burns certainly a defensively minded coach his body language told you that he just threw his arms in the air when they were caught napping in the bonus you're probably thinking there's probably really no need so uh, but he's drawn something up on the board over there and they've got to keep their noses in front now Manchester but uh, again as I say you sense it could go either way 11 points it's not a huge deficit in anyone's book with 623 to play but it's going to be Phoenix who get us going once again. So Dizzy Lifadeju. Uh, Phil Jr. is just gonna watch the ball run. He goes to Kyron Ross, Kyron Ross back to McCall Jr. Thought about the three, goes to the long range two, McCall Jr. No good. There we go, there's the board we were talking about. The feeding side to Jimbo Lull. He gets it back to single digits. Nine points the difference now. Giants 77 play 66 for Phoenix with 557 to play. La Hexham for Manchester. Hudson is way outside. He's gone inside to Brady. Ulf was nerfed in that one. Jordan Whelan puts up the uh, triple and Ulf is there to collect the afters off the ironmongery. So Six for him in the ball game. That three attempt is no good. Hexham is going to do nothing but pull down that rebound. Going inside to Jordan Willem. It was a beautiful feed inside. A great pass from Hudson. some ways that's kind of the difference between these two teams that vision Colin Ross able to connect the lead now back out to 13 Jordan Whelan dumps it off to Wolf once again Wolf was nerfed in that contact where he looked at the ref the ref said no Ross at the other end Well, he says he was foul. The referee definitely said he wasn't. Well, I think it was really certainly no intentional contact there, and um, it's going to be an end line ball. But they've got 19 on the shot clock on this inbounds. So McCall Jr. with his four fouls. Jalen Hayes at the top. Dizzy Lifadeju, Lifadeju. Ross. Dumps it off to Jalen Hayes. A little floater, no good. Brian Brady's there once again. Brian Brady, oh, count that as rebound number 16. Extraordinary. Oh, my goodness me. Well, they're finding off in all sorts of positions at the moment. David, oh, well, he wanted to be on the score sheet. He certainly achieved that this afternoon. And uh, Ben Thomas has seen enough. 420 to play. And from being two points behind, all of a sudden, the Giants are leading here 81 points to 66. It is uh, going to get away from Phoenix unless they can do something. They need to string some stops together here with 420 to play. But just looking down, and we are a long way from the, uh, from the benches here, but I can hear Coach Thomas giving it full-throated, uh, full-throated, punishment to his team on the bench whatever he's going to draw up it's got to involve a few stops because uh, I think it's more of a regroup perhaps than anything else but uh, when you look down uh, you look down where the where the points are coming from here Manchester three of them now in uh, double figures Brian Brady Jordan Whelan and Lyle Hex I mean 16 14 and 11 
respectively. But uh, Jimbo Lowell, 21 points. And Ross with 13. Lowell also on a double-double in this game with 11 boards and 21 points. Shooting 50 from the field. So, but a concentration of, uh, of point scorers perhaps for the, uh, for the Knicks. A much wider spread of scoring for Manchester. So that depth from the bench really, really making the difference for them so far this afternoon. Nevertheless, it did come within two. So let's see what they can do from here. That is going to be two from the line. For sure, for Moulion. So Sahil Moulion is going to shoot two. And the uh, humidity control department has been deployed. Referee's happy. So Sahil Moulion set for the first these two. It's 4.09 to play in the quarter. So moving on. 50% from the line. It's three from six so far. Can we make this four from seven? You can't. And uh, Brady just keeps himself in bounds. <laughs> Get on with it, says Danny <laughs> Oh, well, and well, lost the handle on the ball and lost the ball. The referee just discussing who it came off. That's a Manchester ball. 15 point lead. Hudson stop and pop two. Just came off the side of the backboard. Jimbo up. He hands off to Ross. That was a great dish inside. What a pass. Assist of the game, really. From Carr and Ross to find Lufa Deju. Great work. Hexham to Hudson. Brady drops in. Jordan Whelan again. He's finding it extremely hard work to find any way around. Now they go to Brady. Brady, this time Brady just uses his bolt to bundle his way in right at the end of the shot clock. Just gets the shot away in time. 3.15 to play. And it's becoming very hard work now for Cheshire to come back from this 3.09 to play. In times, Carl Carey. Finds another two for Cheshire. 13 points of difference now. Brady. Jordan Whelan. Whelan. He's dancing his way through the traffic. Yeah, I'm going to say he got away with the travel. He didn't. He got whistled for the travel. And uh, good defense lap from, uh, from Cheshire. 246. 13 points. So now, Phoenix got to defend like their life depends on they've got to get the stops now Cheshire if they're going to deal with this deficit this time uh, kicked it out it's a dizzy but uh, couldn't do anything with it there was no foul forthcoming so Curran Ross now inbounds from the end line for Manchester for a Cheshire, I beg your pardon, inside. Jimbo Lull, two off the window. 11 points. So now, Cheshire got to find the stop now. Rolf, Danny Burns left him out there. Hexham for three, no good. A missed time pass, which is picked off easily by Hudson. As we head inside the last two minutes of this ball game. So Cassell Jr. Check back in. Cassell Jr. Cassell Jr. now. Kicks it out to Brady. Brady to Hudson. Hudson fires up the triple. No good. It's the last two that haven't gone. have been turned over into transition. By Phoenix. No time to waste. Oh, the whistle has gone. 
So pushing foul is the call. And that is going to be on David also only his second foul of the game. One minute 39 remaining in this ball game. Wow. 11 points the difference. So Sahil Mulion with a chance to just reduce that deficit further. Strings the first. So 10 points it is. And, uh, Let's get this back down into single digits. Well, 139, you breathe again. So he'll move you on. Yeah, now's the second. So now, complexion changes again. Once again, got to find a stop now. Cell Jr. Phoenix, a couple of fouls to give down the stretch. And uh, Ulf did really well just to keep that in. He goes to Hudson, Hudson. And to Brady. Brady inside to Ulf. Ulf this time gets his pocket picked. He was right at the end of the shot clock. And uh, so Lyle Hexham has whistled for another one. Third foul for him. Hockey foul is the call. One minute, 11 to go. Nine points the difference. Now they go in to Jimbo Lyle. Once again, the big man puts up the baby hook. It's no good. And Sam Cassell Jr. He's back at work for the Giants. Brady with the screen. Cassell Jr. He drives hard to the bucket. This time he cannot finish. There's Ulf again, high off the glass this time. He doesn't get the points, but he finds the foul, and he's going to go to the line to shoot too. And you feel if he makes these, it's probably going to do it for this game. 44 seconds to play now, end of the fourth quarter. And Phoenix seems so close, but just never got their nose in front in this game. David Ulf <laughs> gets the he gets the coming bounce. And they all count. Doesn't make the second though. So 10 points the difference. So they kick it out to Lifadeju. Lifadeju. Text him. Makes light work of that. Well, oh, Hexham. And uh, has gone 22.3 seconds. So. It's into the foul game. 14 fouls apiece. Sam Brady. Cassell Jr. Well, there's a three second differential between the shot and Glamecock. So Sam Cassell Jr. Five on the shot clock. Needs to do something with it. Otherwise, he's going to turn the ball over right at the end of the shot clock. No good. And in the dying seconds, can Ross find another one? He can't. And with that, it's the final buzzer here in Worcester. And the Northwest Derby has been taken by the Manchester Giants. So it's two from two. And the head-to-head uh, -head for Manchester over the uh, Cheshire Phoenix here. A valiant effort, really, from Cheshire. They were 15 or 17 down at, uh, at one stage. But either way, clawed their way back. They had a great second quarter performance from them. And... Uh, but really too much in the tank. They never really got the noses in front, as we said. And uh, it really was the Brady and Hexham show for uh, down low, you know, in that uh, in that front court for uh, for the Manchester Giants. 18 points and 17 boards for uh, Brian Brady and uh, Lyle Hexham. 11 points, three boards, and Cassell Jr. dropping in 11. Let's not forget. But uh, leading scorer in this game, unsurprisingly, Jimbo Lull. He did a phenomenal job inside, but in the end, it was...